Okay, I'm actually excited because this is some of the biggest news that just dropped tonight, a day or less than a day before the official release of Lost Ark. Hello, my name is Leaving Sunset. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to this video. Thank you guys all for stopping by. We are looking at Lost Ark's official launch release notes that were actually just released a few hours ago and we're looking at some of the really finite details when it comes to some of the additional feedback that players have given to the developers from the closed beta test and also some of the new additional things that have been changed recently uh, when it comes to the information pertaining to the launch for Lost Ark. So when we scroll down here, we first see the whole game content topic. Thanks to player feedback on the new prologue experience during closed beta test, we've added an additional welcome challenge feature. The welcome challenge feature helps guide new players through a subset of optional missions. And initial missions will support and teach players game mechanics and increase in complexity as you move into later areas of the game. We get this whole welcome challenge, which is essentially kind of a tutorial thing, a little guide to help new players, such as myself or anybody who's really kind of confused with Lost Ark's system. It could be anything like tripods, it could be anything such as, you know, Stronghold, or maybe even, you know, guiding yourself through like upgrading your gear. I think this is a nice feature, especially when it comes to Lost Ark. There's a huge learning curve when it comes to Lost Ark and I've experienced it myself during the closed beta test. I had to go on YouTube, search up a bunch of guides, especially when it came to Bard and, you know, going through the tripod and things like that, uh, where to allocate my stats, where to reset them, and then move them into, you know, fully upgrading a specific stat. Uh, there were times where I did feel a little challenged when it came to playing Lost Ark. And there are a lot of really helpful guides here on YouTube by fellow content creators such as Saint Tone and Sai Wu. And I think there are just like a lot of informational guides out there that could help new players alike. But with this new implementation of the Welcome Challenge, I think this is just going to help players really settle in when it comes to playing Lost Ark. I'm really curious at what this welcome challenge offers when it comes to like anything like additional rewards or whatever. But there's a lot of details such as like character and roster updates, dungeon and raid content. So we have, you know, access to some of these regions such as, you know, Bjorn, Phaeton, and Punika. And it shows us all the type of chaos dungeons that have been added. Also, some of the following abyss dungeons right here, such as Gate of Paradise and Oreha as well. And we also do get to see some of the new cool things when it comes to Guardian Raids. I think this is really cool to see. We see things such as the Shadespire Tower, Floors 1 to 50 being added. Um, I remember playing a few floors of this during the closed beta. I think I only got up to like, I don't know, Floor 4 or Floor 5. Uh, I think my gear set, it was really low. But yeah, so they've added Fate Spite Floors now. And they have the additional cube stuff, which is really nice. Um, island and sea content. During the closed beta, roughly 70 islands were accessible, some of which I've actually explored and are really fun to actually do. Uh, we are introducing three more continents from launch, Yorn, Phaeton, and Punika. Um, I've seen a lot of the cinematics, and I'm really looking forward to some of these islands that I've seen in the director's trailer. Scheduled activities. This is one of the more important pieces of news that we have. I think these scheduled activities are really nice. Uh, such as like the field bosses and the chaos gates that are mentioned here and the ghost ships We see here that you can only participate every hour But you will not get any additional rewards once you've exhausted all opportunities to receive rewards You're gonna see that some of these times are gonna be automatically updated to you on these other discord servers So you're gonna see that like for example Wednesday at 10 a.m. UTC plus zero uh, Some servers will implement a system that'll notify you when these new things reset. So I highly recommend checking these things out, such as Lost Ark's official server, because you could also find guilds and um, other players alike to like contact and play with. And it, it's really a good way to get in touch with the community and see what this game has to offer. So we got Stronghold content over here. Stronghold Knowledge Vault has been added. With the Knowledge Vault, you can take progress that has already been experienced on one character and transfer it to a different character on the same account. So it's really just telling you about the Knowledge Transfer. This is different from a Power Pass, of course, and the Knowledge Vault will be available for North Burn up to Phaeton. New Features. 
We are including 15 playable classes. To match the Sorcerer release in Korea, we will also include the Sorcerer Advanced class, replacing the closed beta option of the Summoner. The Striker class has been also introduced since closed beta. So that's huge. We get the Sorcerer right off the bat. It's actually really amazing how fast we're getting content. One thing that really caught my eye when it came to the new features was actually this sentence right here. Korean VO has been added as a DLC pack on Steam. Please note, this only affects spoken dialogue to allow players to experience the original voiceover of the game. Text options are restricted to English, French, German, or Spanish. I feel as if this is very important because now we really do get to see what the voice acting is like when it comes to Korea. A lot of people during the closed beta test, including myself, were kind of surprised that we only had English uh, voice acting, which by the way is really good. It's really phenomenal by the way, but I also do want to experience the Korean voiceovers. So I'm glad that this time around, especially with launch coming, we get to have that option to do so. And then there's a bunch of cool things such as moderation, language filtering, and currency exchange. But the one that really caught my eye was the whole thing about Power Pass and the Adventurer's Path. So there are two ways a Power Pass will be obtained by Adventurers. When the player completes the main quest, which is Elaine's gift from North Vern, a single Vern Power Pass token will be provided via in-game mail. After using the first Power Pass, a second Power Pass will be granted to players via in-game mail as well. So that is huge news! This is something that we had official access to when it came to the closed beta test. I ended up using my power pass from Bard to try out Holy Paladin, which is actually a class that I'm thinking about maining of. It was amazing to see that when I first saw this article and before I refreshed it, there was actually a thing that we had to watch the cutscenes all the way through to obtain the second one. And officially on Twitter, I believe Roxy confirmed that instead of watching all the cutscenes and cinematics, uh, we could just get the second power pass uh, as an in-game mail reward after doing the first one. So that's pretty amazing. We don't have to be stuck for like an additional few more hours to watch the cinematics, which are beautiful by the way, but it's something I don't want to watch personally because it's already been uploaded for me onto YouTube when it comes to watching the entire thing. I did play a long play on the closed beta test. That's why I spent a lot of time playing it. I'm glad that they changed it. And now that we have two power passes, that means you get your one character first to level 50. After you use the power pass on one of your characters, which is going to be your second character, you get a second one to use on your third character. So three characters across the board, level 50 straight on. This is something that really allows people to try other classes, especially when they are kind of hesitant in, you know, or undecisive in picking a main. Uh, it's also something that is not really required right away, especially when you're going along like, you know, tier one and kind of tier two content. I recommend people just play some classes straight through and see what they like and eventually settle in into a class or two that they're comfortable with. However, um, this power pass thing is super huge and yeah, that's basically it. I'm so excited for Lost Ark. I can't believe that it's literally almost here. I have been in post Lost Ark depression, post Lost Ark withdrawal since November, and it's actually really amazing that we have this thing tomorrow. As a content creator who's trying to get into Lost Ark, I personally believe that a lot of these things are very much helpful, and these things that are released in the launch release notes, and the things that other creators are working on and releasing when it comes to helping new players. It's, it's very much wholesome and honestly like the, the community for Lost Ark has been such a blast so far. I'm really doing my research right now and making sure that I'm following guides and extra steps to ensure that I have a playable and fun experience when it comes to this game. And I personally believe that when it comes to Lost Ark, don't worry about progressing, you know, at a fast rate. But as somebody who's played the closed beta test, I highly recommend you take your time. Do not burn yourself out. Make sure that you play this game well through. And once you get to level 50, that's when the game officially starts. So really just have fun with it. Play with your friends and maybe even join a guild or two and just really get in touch with the community and what it has to offer. But other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys on the server. I will be live on Twitch. It is linked down below and I will see you guys next time. Peace.